Good morning, welcome to Morning Review. This is Kim Watson speaking on Monday the 20th of June. So with uh, just a few days left before polling, uh, we see the euro gap up, of course the pound gapped up on uh, a positive, positive uh, uh, Brexit vote uh, data coming in from the uh, all those lovely papers, the Daily Mail, which is the most honest paper out there. Oh no, no. Um, anyway, the Daily Mail's uh, uh, surveyation poll um, has seen the 42% uh, for Remain and 45% for Leave change to 45% for Remain and 42% in favour of Leave. Okay, um, so uh, of course the uh, We've seen the gaps in both the euro and the pound. These both could uh, get filled at some point. They normally do get filled, uh, most gaps, in the Forex markets. And there's, there is the p potential for this to happen. Uh, I'm sure there will be plenty of polls out this week. Right, so uh, where are we sitting at the moment? Well, as I say, we've gapped up into some, uh, well, some partial resistance from the middies there. He, he, could see a continuation up to the monthly S1. It's um, not looking great from the hourly point of view at the moment. It's gone into the daily R, uh, S, uh, sorry, R3, sorry um, R3, and uh, the potential for that gap to be filled looks reasonable at this moment. But uh, um, perhaps we could get some support of the 21 moving averages, but which are below us. But uh, there is an untouched daily pivot below us, and a big ask, I think, maybe for us to get towards that level at the moment. Cable, looking at the uh, bigger time frame here, so big gap up this morning, uh, or yesterday evening, should I say, into the uh, monthly, uh, R uh, sorry, weekly R2 pivot there. Um, we've seen a bit of resistance coming in from that at the moment. Again, big gap below. And there's lots more, as I say, uh, polls that I'm sure that will come out yet. Yeah, weekly pivots a mile below us, uh, which uh, at this stage would uh, certainly look like a, a big ask. It's 320 pips below us. Um, well, we certainly won't be coming out in one day unless we've got some really negative polls coming out today. Uh, but um, there is the potential for the gap to be filled, of course, technically. Short term, well, we're also into the R3 here as well, as well as being into the daily R3, as well as the uh, weekly R2 there. However, of course, these on such news, um, if, if we start getting some uh, continuation, well, there's, there's nothing stopping us continue pushing up and pushing up on this type of data. It may be, we'll see, uh, as the... Um, news filters through post 8 o'clock, we managed to see a continuation and all the pivots knocked out of the uh, water really, but uh, personally I, I just, sort of just from a technical point, technical point I'd like to see the gap filled. Okay, looking then at the uh, dollar yen, again we've seen a gap on the dollar yen running uh, into its uh, 4 hourly 21 or run back to its 4 hourly 21 here. Uh, question is, is it, can it break that 21 and push up to the 34? Has got the gap below, and again, um, the potential for the fill uh, sits there. It's possibly got less to gain than anything else in terms of this news, but uh, it may just have been a bit of dollar selling that's caused this to happen. Um, Say so there is the potential for the gap there below to be filled. Aussie dollar is going to have a gap, surely. Yeah, it's got a gap. Um, it just shows you the, the strength of the dollar selling this, um, and with the, the, the Aussie uh, running into the daily 50 again, uh, there's not divergence, but we're back into these double tops so on the four hourly perspective. Um, maybe it's got weekly pivot below it. There's a daily pivot sitting below as well, so there's a, there's, there is the potential that it starts correcting itself through the normal trading session that we uh, could see these sort of... Uh, Oh, this gap field may be. There is some potential support from the 21s to watch out for, but these have been tested a number of times. And finally, the Canadian dollar. Well, um, we've seen oil pushing up, and well, not so much of a gap here. There is a gap still in the uh, Canadian dollar, 
heading south again, nice reversal bars that we've got in effectively. There's a bit of a pivot swing. If it breaks the lows, it really gives it a bit more, um, a bit more of a signal for some further downside here. It's currently, I'm just looking at where we see uh, sitting here. Yeah, let's say oils, let's just push it, push onto oil. It's pushing back towards that $50 barrel. Big bullish engulfing candle um, on the close of Friday. So, uh, so we could see a continuation here with the Canadian dollar to the downside. A uh, smaller gap above if it does start running up, and we have got the weekly pivot above. At least said pivot then. Uh, the weekly pivot sits above us as well, uh, and the daily pivot sits above us. So uh, any sort of uh, drop off in oil suddenly, well, it'll give us the opportunities. But as long as uh, oil's shoving up um, at the moment, I think we'll see a continuation to the downside. Okay, that's pretty much it today. No significant news uh, due out from uh, in terms of standard news, whether there'll be some polls out today. That I do not know. Um, um, but uh, we, we could see some increased volatility as we run through this week, and most likely we'll see some massive volatility as we move towards Thursday. That oil will just sort of go all completely flat and come up with rather untradable with massive wide spreads. Right, okay, that's it for me. Have a great one. Bye for now.